upped the curb on this famous Promenade des Anglais in Nice at a high speed, plowing people down in the middle of this crowded Bastille Day celebration. The French media, specifically BFM TV, is reporting there was also an exchange of gunfire after that truck rammed the crowd. That has not yet been confirmed by NBC News. All of this happening toward the end of a Bastille Day celebration there. Fireworks were going off at the time and people absolutely panicked running down the street. Uh, French media tonight reporting dozens dead, several injured. Those numbers not yet confirmed by NBC News. There are also reports that the truck driver has been killed, again, unconfirmed by NBC. The mayor of Nice and local police tonight warning people to stay inside because of what it, they called an attack. We don't know the kind of attack, the motive at this point, but Lester, this comes eight months after the attacks in Paris that killed 130 people. A very nervous night, a very scary night tonight in Nice, Lester. You can certainly see the panic in those pictures. Kelly, thank you. Let me go right now to American journalist Bob Franken. He's on the ground in Nice, France, and joins us by telephone. Bob, what are you seeing where you are? Well, at the moment, uh, the promenade des Anglais is uh, very quiet. I'm seeing a few emergency vehicles moving up and down, but uh, although witness, I did not see the truck itself. Witnesses said that it jumped the pedestrian area, which is right up along the Mediterranean, and started mowing down people. I immediately went out there and I counted dozens of bodies, uh, both uh, dead and injured. Uh, and for his chaos, meanwhile, people had gone racing away by the thousands. This was uh, Bastille Day. There was a fireworks display, as uh, Kelly said. It had just concluded when this incident occurred. The police were trying to get people to go down to the beach on the Mediterranean. Their concern was that there might be a follow-up of some sort. Uh, and then, of course, as Kelly said, the mayor is saying that people should stay home uh, because there might be some sort of follow-up plan. And from what you saw in the pattern of victims in the street and what you're hearing, was there any doubt that this was an intentional act? Well, uh, no, no doubt whatsoever. Neither the police nor witnesses said that this was anything but an intentional act, as you put it. Uh, the truck just mowed people down. Uh, there is some question about whether there was, in fact, gunfire, as I said. Uh, the fireworks display was just ending, but uh, the truck was stopped a few hundred yards up the roadway. All right, Bob Franken on the ground in Nice, France. France has seen uh, so much tragedy over this past year. We thank you for that report.